once. I used it once because it was there, but we never use it. So why is it there? Stop worrying about underwear flaps and start worrying about living our lives never being able to love because they could become a target. Dude, what the heck was that? The fact that concealing our superpowers will never allow him to love Amy Anderson. <laughs> yeah, that's it. What? Just ask her to the new smoothie shop. If the virus shows up, then we'll just... just... Well, let's not focus on that. No. I must stay invisible. Nobody can know we're superheroes. He's right. It's a superhero code. We gotta stay secret. And most importantly, we need to stay out of trouble and never draw attention to ourselves. Will Tyler Bowman, Kevin Reynolds, Jennifer Shope, and Teddy Roachmont report to the principal's office? Now! <laughs> Man, I hate the principal walk. Hello. You guys? Where's the principal? Oh. -ho. Okay, whatever you think you're doing here, I like it. We stabilized her, self-replicated her, then duplicated her voice. This is your principal with one final announcement. Let me hear you scream! If only you could copy Tyler and ask Amy to the smoothie shop because he's in love. Stop! Besides, Amy doesn't like me. Well, young man, you have to ask her out to truly know for sure, don't you? Oh, hey, Tyler. Hey, Amy. A new smoothie shop opened, and I was wondering if maybe you'd like to go. Sure. Sounds like fun. Really? <gasps> uh, oh, I mean... <clears throat> Meet you there at three. I don't believe it. She said yes. Okay, now grab Lover Boy, because we have to take a little trip. How little is this trip? Because remember, Tyler's taking Amy out for smoothies. <gasps> Time what? What am I doing? Oh, Memnock replicated you and then asked Amy out, and she said yes. What? <clears throat> We brought you here today because, as agents of the Benevolent Alliance, we need help investigating a piece of Earth technology. What do you want to research? Plutonium enrichment? Atom smashing? Close. The roller coaster. We need to research this Thunder Wonderland right away. And while we're there, we might as well investigate a technology called the Log Flume. Memnock self replicated me to ask Amy out? You're welcome. Quiet. Now, is this roller coaster thingy scary? Doesn't matter. Thunder Wonderland is closed till summer. Don't be sad. We can open anything. Stop! Okay. If you guys got me a date with Amy, then you are gonna help me make it her best date ever. So, no roller coaster? Not until Amy tells me she had the most memorable smoothie date in history. Ah, <laughs> easy peasy. All you need is five ounces of your plasma that she sips off your face with a straw. And if she doesn't vomit within five minutes, you're in love. Better plan. And Bob and Rob are reform now. Fine. Wait, this is the better plan? We're the real guys. Well, this gives us more control over the most memorable smoothie date ever. I'll be under the table. What? Why? And what if somebody else comes in? Sorry, we're closed. What? Uh, but but I, I see a bunch of kids in there. Now, just sit back, relax, and let the love date coaching masters handle everything. We have a plan, dude. But no, I have a better idea. You copy me again because you're smooth on dates and I feel barfy just thinking about them. Hey, Tyler. <laughs> Welcome to the smoothie shop place thing. Why don't you sit here and decide what you like? Then discuss a topic like what happened at school today or when can we go to Thunder Wonderland? Hey, what did happen at school today? Are you in trouble? 
No, we agreed to volunteer at the pet shelter, but our parents didn't fill out our permission slip, so I've got to get my mom to sign it. It is right here. See? And I was you. Hair nice. Why don't you stop talking now and we'll take your order? I'll have a strawberry sparkle with an active culture shot. What the heck is that? It's a live bacteria that enhances your metabolism and brain waves. Tyler? I'll have the same. She wants a drink with bacteria. I always dreamed of being a smoothie maker. Yeah, aim higher, please. <laughs> Smoothies that are alive? Oh, no. I hope the virus doesn't get into my smoothie. My living beverage might attack me. Oh, Earth, what will you think of next? What are you doing? You're ruining Tyler's dating. Yeah. The smoothie got infected, didn't it? What was that? A bug! Two bugs! Big bugs. Have you ever noticed that bugs are getting bigger? Thank you, global warming. Okay, living smoothie, time for your virus to go bye-bye. My turn! Oh, it's taking really long. I'll go check on our order. No! <laughs> Let me do it. And don't look back, because I have a surprise for you. Really? Sure. Oh, uh, hey, buddy. Uh, we're fine. Just in a lot of pain. We can't let Amy get infected! <clears throat> then grab your battle bones and help us! Oh, we stink at this part. <clears throat> Just slam it in, please! Possum. Always the possum! But I will use the power from these high-powered outlets warming up, not an explosion or a deadly beast. <laughs> Why are you covering your chest like that? Like this? Uh, because my heart beats so fast when I am around you. That must be our order. I'll be right back. You are all terrible love coaches, Ed. Blue Battle Ball, go! How'd you figure all that out? I need this date to go great, and it's not. Then I realize we can't get the virus when our battle balls aren't implanted. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you that. But whatever you do, don't burp. Right. Got it. No burping. And... Oh, no. You'll excuse me? I'd like to get back to my date. <sighs> Here you go. One strawberry sparkle with an active culture shock. Uh, it's getting late. <laughs> yeah, it is. And I have a lot of homework. Whoa. That works, too. But thanks. This was easily the most memorable smoothie date in history. Well, look on the bright side. She's still alive. Okay, so your first date went terrible. 
Welcome to love dating. It gets better from here. But she did say it was the most memorable smoothie date in history. So? You never told us. Are these things scary? 